I feel very proud to be associated with that particular race because it was the race of the century. It's Bastina and Condi together. I knew we were on the, the verge of greatness. It was the Dean George race that brought out the greatness in him. He looks magnificent. It was the most exciting race. Everything happened as it very seldom does in a horse race that was foreseeable. Grundy, the Derby winner, the Irish Derby winner, and today seeking to become the highest stake earner ever trained in this country. And here, perhaps the outstanding four-year-old in training, Bastino. He's really got depth. He's become a really powerful individual. We weren't certain to win at all. We knew Bastino was our big obstacle to winning. One of the best horses I've ever ridden, but a lovely character. Great character, and a good-looking horse, too. He'd always be tanky with you on the bridle. Uh, he was just a pleasure to, to sit on, pleasure to ride out on Tuesday morning. And that away. And Bustino himself is one of the first to show from Grundy on the outside. Dick Hearn had three in the race, pacemakers, to make the race for our space in case I didn't quite stay. But Frankie Dare rode highest, I think it was, and Eric Eldon rode Kinglet, who went off for the clappers of hell. I mean, he really did tank on the first four. It's Kinglet who's going on. Kinglet from highest. Then Kinglet went on. He led me to roughly to about four out, but couldn't go any further, so I had to take it up. And I'm thinking, you know, have I gone too soon? Well, I can't really give out. I've got to go. And he just galloped this horse into the straight. Nothing's there, nothing's there. Then a fellow and a half out. I could hear Pat Edry hard at work. I thought, I'm still going to hold him, still going to hold him. Bustino on the far side, Grundy on the near side, the three year old and the four year old. They race into the final 150 yards. And it's Grundy going on from Bustino. And my horse changed his legs, tongue went out, and I was beat. Walked down in a daze really after the race. The crowd in the stands were absolutely shaking with, with disbelief really how fast they'd gone. I thought I'd win, full stop. You know, I was so confident when I went out because he was such a good horse. It just happens that that's what happens. It get me emotional now. <laughs> Dick Hyde, who was a great friend, shook me by the hand, saying, well done. Two great horses, they've got to be. And the courage of Bastino fighting back. This must be one of the fastest races ever run over a mile and a half in this country. They give everything, every, every ounce they got. You know, they, they battled it out and uh, the best horse won on the day. That is the job of the trainer, to make a horse into the best he possibly can. We were very proud of him, really. He was a very good horse.